Our third presentation in this graphs unit is on weighted graphs and directed graphs. Let's go back to what we started at the beginning of this unit when we talked about trees and tree diagrams. Originally you knew tree diagrams as what we use in probability, but now with new concepts of paths and graphs we can define it even better. A tree is a connected graph with no simple circuits. Keeping in mind that a simple circuit contains no repeating edges. A simple circuit just hits every edge just one time. A tree can also be understood as a type of connected graph. Let's look at an example. The following graph can be considered to be a tree. Notice how it is a connected graph and it and it's not a, it has no simple circuit meaning we cannot start an edge at the start and end at the same vertex without repeating our edges we need to repeat our edges the following is not a tree because we have a simple circuit here a b c d and a is a simple circuit we start and end at the same vertex and we hit every edge just once. Therefore, this is not a tree. Now that we've redefined our tree diagram in our new language, we can now introduce you to what a directed graph is. Basically, a directed graph is when your graph has a direction. Each edge in a directed graph has an arrow, giving the edge some direction. These kinds of edges with an arrow are called arcs. In a directed graph, note the following. A path is a sequence of consecutive arcs that may or may not repeat starting and ending at a different point. A circuit is a path that begins and ends at the same vertex. And finally, a path or circuit is simple if it contains no repeated arcs. We're calling them arcs in this case because a directed graph has edges with arrows and we call those arcs. Here's an example of a directed graph. Notice how it's the same thing as a graph that you've seen in the previous presentations except now your graphs have arrows. There's a reason for these arrows. If you are going to make a path you have to follow the arrows. You can't go from D to F for example. It has to be from F to D and then to E. In this graph, DE, um, FD, GF are examples of arcs. FDE is an example of a path. And notice that it's FDE, not EDF. And GFD going through the 1 here, not the 2, so GFD1. G is a circuit. We're starting and ending at the same vertex and we're following our direction of the arrows. Just to review, GG is a loop, D1G and D2G are parallel from our first PowerPoint for this chapter. Test yourself on this graph. Here it is. Can you find an Euler path and maybe an Euler circuit? How can you tell whether a graph has an Euler path? Can you find the Hamiltonian path or Hamiltonian circuit? Let's talk about weighted graphs now. A weighted graph is a graph, directed or not, where a weight or unit is attributed to each arc or edge. The weight of a path corresponds to some of the weights of the arcs or edges that make up the path. Let's see an example. In the adjacent graph here, you'll notice that regardless whether there's arrows or not, each of these edges have a weight or a unit given to them. The weight of segment CE is 4, because you see this 4 here. The weight of A, D, E, and C is adding all of their paths together. So if we start at A, D is 9, to E is 8, to C is 4, adding them all together, 9 plus 8 plus 4 is 21, so the weight is 21. And just to keep testing yourself, 
Can you try finding a, an Euler path or a, Hamiltonian, or a Hamiltonian path or circuit in any of these graphs? This is good practice for you to try and be able to analyze what an Euler and what a Hamiltonian path and circuit is. So let's recap this PowerPoint. First, we started off with a new definition of a tree. A tree is a type of graph that has no simple circuits in that all of its circuits have edges that need to repeat. You can't go through a tree without repeating edges. We then learned about what a directed graph is. These are edges that have direction. And if the edges have direction, we now call them arcs. Paths need to go into the direction of those arrows. And finally, we learned about weighted graphs. A weighted graph are when edges have, or edges or arcs, have a unit or a weight to them. The weight corresponds to the sum of the weights of the arcs or edges that make up the path. And that is the end of 3.3 directed and weighted graphs.